I had a little car collection. Uh, I wanted to, to put them in, inside in the garage. I found this garage, 30 by 44. It came down on skids. I had to have the concrete done, uh, poured first. Then I have to have the building erected. We squeezed the cars in. We now have uh, nine cars in here now. And we have to squeeze them in pretty tight, as you can see, to, to get them in there. But the building is good. It's uh, been standing for, I think it's five years ago, and uh, doing fine. Very sturdy. Concrete's very thick, and the building is strong. I'm very, very pleased with that. I have to make some changes to it. We're going to put some exhaust fans in so that we can have some air movement in here. And I've added electric to run the door. Although you don't need electric with the, during the daytime with the skylights. And now we build it with the building. Uh, the skylight, really those uh, translucent panels just replace one section of the arch. And there's a way to do it. We stagger them so we don't have two translucent panels in the same arch. So we have one here and one next to it and one there. So uh, the, the, the building uh, came with instructions on how to do that. And we determined that four translucent panels would be big enough to light this during the day. So it's doing the job for me. I built the high arches because I'm a table tennis player also, and I wanted to play table tennis in here with some ceiling height. So instead of being a normal 12 foot, it's 14 foot high. Uh, I could play ping pong in here. I don't do that now, but that's the plan.